The families are grieving today after a shooting at an El Rey supermarket on Saturday left two men dead. The questions remain as that investigation continues. The CBS 58's Victor Jacobo shares what happened and the pain being felt by the families of the two people killed. Milwaukee police say an altercation happened at the El Rey supermarket on Cesar Chavez Drive on Saturday morning. That's when police say there was a shootout between a suspect and a security guard. A third person was shot but only got minor injuries. Police have not cleared up information on who shot first or what started the altercation. A vigil was held Sunday night for the security guard killed who was identified as 59-year-old Anthony Nolden. My uncle was a superhero. He was our superhero when we was a kid, and now we grown adults, he's still. and he's still our superhero to us. He leaves behind two children, including a daughter whose wedding he attended the day before. This is a heartbreak for our family. That man had two kids, a son sitting at home waiting on him, and he ain't never coming back. Behind me, you can see a memorial in place for Luis Lorenzo, one of the men killed in Saturday's shooting, as well as his family. His family says the 36-year-old should still be alive today. I feel like he should have never been pursued past that door entrance. They chased him down and attacked him. Luis Lorenzo's family said he had mental health issues, including suffering from paranoia. They say Lorenzo was profiled for having a ski mask and a backpack he refused to leave with staff because it had personal items in it. They added Lorenzo was followed in the store, didn't steal anything, and was a victim of aggression by security. <laughs> The family says aggression by Marshall Public Safety was exemplified when they tried setting up for a memorial on Sunday for Lorenzo, but were told they were trespassing, leading to one of them being tackled and handcuffed. They used the same heavy-handed tactics with me that they did with my cousin. With my cousin, they used excessive force. Saturday morning's shooting is now being reviewed by the district attorney's office. Meanwhile, Lorenzo's family is considering a civil lawsuit. In Milwaukee, Victor Hakobo, CBS 58 News.